Hey guys, so I recently got a new device and um, I want to transfer all my stuff from my old device into my new device and I decided to just video the whole process so that those of you that will be having um, a new device soon or just want to transfer your stuff from an, another device then you can follow along. On the left you have the old device while the right will have the new device. So technically you're going to need two apps for this to work and the app, the first app is going to be Super Backup while the second app will just be any app that you can use for transferring files wirelessly. So for me, I'm using Zapier, which is this one right here, and um, this is the super backup. So the first thing you want to backup will be your offline stuff. So the offline things are things like um, your contacts, your text messages, your call logs. I'm going to open super backup. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get this super backup. It's on the Play Store anyways. So when you get to the Play Store, you just have to download it. And when you open it for the first time, all you have to do is just tap allow as many times as the app requests for it. All right, so after opening the app, you want to tap on SMS to back up your SMS. First, I'll delete all my backups because I already started doing it, but I wanted to just work with you guys. So you're going to select backup and then you don't have to change the name or anything. Just tap OK. And it's going to back up your text messages. Then you go back twice. So for contacts, Google usually saves my contacts. But just to be on the safe side, I'll also back up my contacts. All right, next, I'll back up my call logs. For my calendar, I know that um, Google backs up all my calendar stuff. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then the rest, I'm going to ignore them because we'll be using other ways to send pictures and all that. So as I was doing the backups, you may have noticed that, um, let's say I want to back up my contacts. You may have noticed that um, the app gives you an address for where the backups will be saved. So this means you have to go to your internal storage and then you check for a folder called SMS contacts backup. And then if you want to restore your contacts, you have to enter the contacts folder. From there, you find the contacts file. But um, for now, we're just going to do all the backups. I accidentally backed up again, but anyways, it's no big deal. All right, so we are done with the backups. Now we can exit this app. We haven't started doing anything on the new phone yet because we are still doing our offline backups. All right, next we have the online backups. Now this depends entirely on you. Like for me, I only need to back up my WhatsApp conversations and uh, my WhatsApp business as well. But for you, you may have Signal and uh, maybe any other messaging app that requires a backup on your device. So I recently made a video on where WhatsApp saves backups now, but um, for now we're just going to WhatsApp and try to back up all the conversations. So I have all my conversations um, archived. Then I'm going to tap on this menu here, and then tap settings, and then tap chats, and then I'll tap chat backup. And um, you see the last time it was backed up was around um, 2 a.m. So if I don't back it up now, um, I'm going to lose all the messages that I had after 2 a.m. I hope that makes sense. So I'll tap back up. And then I'll give it a while to do its backing up. All right, so now it's done backing up. And um, before you do the backup, make sure you turn off your Wi-Fi or mobile data, whatever it is that is connected to the internet so more messages don't come in after you're done backing up. If not, those messages are not going to be part of the backup. So after backing up the normal WhatsApp, now I'm going to back up WhatsApp business with the same steps. Okay, so I'm done backing up WhatsApp business. All right, so we are done with the online and offline backups. Now we have to start transferring all our backups to the new phone. So to do that, we have to use the wireless sharing application and I'm using Zapier. So I'll open Zapier here as well as the new phone. And then I'm going to tap on this blue button at the bottom and then tap create group. I'll turn on my Wi-Fi and my GPS and tap next. Here I'll tap on the blue button and tap join group. And then I'm going to turn on my Wi-Fi, my location and that's all. So I'll tap on next. Oh, I have to grant, yeah, I have to grant the app my location. So I'll tap on all of this time. And then I'm going to tap next and then I'll tap create group on the left phone and then here I'll tap next and it's going to start searching but um, because I don't want to impute the password I'll tap scan 
QR code and then I'm going to scan this device so as you can see both devices have connected and now I'm going to start sending all the backups that I did so to send the backups I'll tap on this folder icon here on the old device and then I'll start searching so the first thing I backed up was um, messages using super backup so this is the folder here so I'll just send the whole folder it's done sending next I'll send whatsapp and uh, whatsapp business now to send your whatsapp and backup you tap android then media and then you scroll down and you see whatsapp here and um, whatsapp business will be down here so you want to select both of them and then tap send so you give it a while for them to send all those things so I'm going to skip to when they are done sending as you can see over here they are sending all right so they are done sending now we'll go back so now you're done sending all the backups that you made and if you tap this cube icon you're going to see a list of all the apps you have so you, you can go through them and send all the apps that you think you need some apps will work while others won't so those that don't work will be downloaded from the play store on the new device so i'm just going to send super backup as it is most important then tap send next i'm going to send my notes like i keep some notes on my device sometimes i just get ideas of videos that i'll create and i write them down so i have this folder called writer that is where all the notes are being saved i'll tap on it and then i tap send so just go through the list until you find folders that um, you want to send i have pictures albums which i'll still leave on this device i'll send those ones slowly but you guys can just go in here to select the the pictures you want to send like I have some pictures here, if I want to send any, I'll just tap on this and then I'll tap send. The final thing I'm going to do is to restore my Google Authenticator. So the way it works is you, you open the app, and then you tap on the menu button, you tap on transfer account, you tap export accounts, you put in your fingerprint, you select all the accounts you want to export and then you tap next. And you're going to get a QR code, which I'm not going to show you, but... Um, when you get the QR code, you go to the new device, you go to the Play Store on the new device and um, download Authenticator. I use Google Authenticator, so you guys can download whatever you use. And after that, you want to open it, tap Get Started, and then tap Import Existing Accounts, and then you tap Scan, and then tap Only This Time. And after scanning, all the codes, will, all the accounts will be imported onto the new device. So remember that I sent an app to the new device so i'm going to install the app now and um, i'll tap on file manager and then i'll tap this folder icon here it's it depends on the device you use but for mine this is how i have to look for it so because we used zapier you have to tap download and then you see the zapier folder then you want to tap app and then you see the super backup app i hope it installs if it doesn't then i'll just go download it from the play store all right so it's installed and uh, this is it right here, I'll open it. Then I'm going to give the app all the permissions it needs. Tap OK. The app wants you to select where you want to save all the backups because you're going to be eventually saving backups with it. So since I have an SD card and my internal storage, I'm going to select my internal storage, which is this one on the top. Then I'm going to create a folder and call it SMS contacts. And then I'm going to tap use this folder down here tap allow and now i have to start restoring all the things that i backed up so i'll start with sms i'll tap on it i'll tap allow allow again then i'll tap restore for now i'll tap okay okay again now i'll select super backup as my sms app so i'll tap sms app and then i'll tap super backup and then i'll go back go back again and then i'll tap restore so I'll search for the folder where the backups are. So I'll tap here. So I can go to the beginning of my folders. And then I'll tap download Zapier folder. SMS contacts. SMS. And then I'll select this one. And it's going to restore all my messages. So I'll do the same process for the rest of the options. Contacts. Restore. And then I'll search for it again 
Okay, I remember doing it twice, so I'll, I think I'll select the second one. And then I'll either choose to save it to my phone or to my Gmail. I like saving to Gmail, so I'll tap Gmail. This is why my contacts get backed up to Gmail. So now I'm done restoring my contacts. Next, I'll restore my call logs. I also backed this one up twice, so I'll check for the latest one. As you can see down here, the latest one was backed up by 3.18 p.m. So I'll select it and then wait for it to get restored. Okay, so all my call logs are restored. And now I will just, I'm done with this app. Now remember, we changed the SMS app from the main SMS app to Super Backup. Now in case yours doesn't switch back to your main SMS app, all you have to do is just head over to your phone settings. And then this is for my device. I hope it's going to be the same because Android devices always have different but similar options. So I'll tap on apps and then I'm going to tap manage apps and then I'll tap this option up here and then I'll tap default apps. So now you can get to choose the default messenger for your device. So if I tap on this messages has been selected as my default messaging app slash SMS app. So I don't have to worry about that. Now we are done restoring all the messages and the contacts. Now I'm going to restore my WhatsApp and WhatsApp business messages. Now I don't have the WhatsApp app installed, neither do I have the WhatsApp business app installed, but I'm going to first move the folders to the appropriate places before I download the apps. So to find the backups for WhatsApp and WhatsApp business, like we did the first time, you just need to head over to where Zapier is and then you tap folder and these are the backups. So we want to copy them or move them to where they're supposed to be. So I, I just selected them and down here I'll tap move and I'll select my internal storage, Android, media, and then I'm going to paste them here. And that's it. So we have restored our WhatsApp and WhatsApp business conversations. Next, I'm going to install the apps. So all I have to do is now head over to the Play Store. I'm going to show you guys how to restore your messages. Even though I have a video about that, but I'll just do it again. And the process is the same for WhatsApp business. So just follow along. Open the WhatsApp app, agree and continue. Input your phone number, tap next. So they'll send me an SMS. And then I'm going to input my two-step verification code. So Sina is asking me that he wants to find my backups. And now I'll tap continue. And then I'll tap allow, allow. And it has found my backups. And I made the backup 32 minutes ago. So this video may just be five minutes or 10 minutes for you, but I've been sitting here for 32 minutes doing everything. So I'll tap restore. I'm actually tired now. And then I'll wait for the messages to get restored. All right, so everything is now restored. I'll just impute my name here. Okay, so I have all my conversations back. And I'm going to do the same for WhatsApp business, but I don't have to show you guys because it's the same process. Just make sure you have the folder saved in the media section and you'll be fine. So this is the kind of video I wish someone had made in the earlier stages of my life when I was changing devices because I always end up losing stuff. But um, eventually I had to learn how to back things up. And yeah, if you found this video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and I'll really appreciate it. If you have questions for me, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond. All right, so you'll be hearing and seeing me in future videos. Stay safe and bye-bye.